How's it going, everybody? I hope you're all having a fine day. My name is Nix, also known as the VTuber with a software engineering degree. Today, I want to go briefly over my achievements over the past week of experimenting and overall just doing whatever I feel like doing with my channel, you know, trying to get myself out there and be known for people as a VTuber who likes to play video games and soon will post content about coding and making own projects. So to get straight to the point, I'm going to go to the content that I put out and I'm going to start with this video which is technically the very first content i ever put on this channel because although it is private because it was just a video of me playing around with the editing of davinci resolve which is a new editing software that i'm going to use for my next video that is going to be public and hopefully it will reach out to some people in the software engineering community and help them make up their mind regarding a certain thing which you will see hopefully in the next week next step is going to be my live streams as you can clearly see at the bottom over here i started off with nothing all i had to my name is just my anime character and that is it however i did expect that i'm going to get little to no views at all but surprisingly people did come to my channel over the days and slowly i started to rack up the views very very slowly as everyone should if you're not all about getting those views and putting out quality content and getting your next big video on your first try and being a millionaire in one try no i'm not this kind of guy i'm not looking to become big overnight i'm looking to become big over a period of time of hard work and dedication and just trial and error of many different things the difference in my opinion between becoming big over a few videos instead of many many videos is that it's gonna be hard for you to deviate off your niche that you chose to become big overnight rather than when you have so many videos and, and people see the amount amount of content that you make and the kinds of content that you make it's a lot more forgiving and easy to deviate of your niche as someone who has so much content out there in compared to someone who just like has five videos and suddenly is going to put out something that is completely irrelevant to what he did so far anyway those are the st stats for the live streams i don't know why this one is the most popular one i guess it is and you should note that as soon as i put pal word on vtuber keywords in the title a lot more more people started coming to my channel a lot more people started coming to my live stream and you can clearly see a huge difference in the amount of views and likes in compared to the previous videos i did make some playlists just before i started recording because i just wanted things to be organized for people who want who want to watch the content in order lastly i have shorts uh, which I'm, I'm going to talk about this cat content that i put out a little bit more in depth you know in a minute but yeah you can see the reason why i have more views in the agfer kebab short than the most insane pangolet ever even though the first pound world short has a clickbait title that's because in the second one i have put up tags i had no idea this is gonna make a huge difference if you just include the tags but apparently it does and even if you have a clickbait short as a small content creator you're not gonna get a lot of views in compared to tagging the content that you're interacting with like vtuber and pal world this really brought up a lot of views you can also see that, that i have dislikes and i'm not sure but i think those may be bots one day ago i had a huge amount of dislikes i had a lot more dislikes than i had likes and suddenly today for some reason all the dislikes that i had yesterday they just disappeared into thin air and i have no idea where that came from they could be real they could be bots so if you ever get dislikes on your shorts a huge amount of dislikes they may just as well be just bots i'm not sure what's the goal of having those bots dislike your short it just left me speechless until today that i opened my youtube studio suddenly i have more likes than dislikes lastly i do have a new short that i just uploaded and if you want to know what it's about you better go to my channel and see what it's about and to sum it all up i'm gonna go to my content live streams 
and you can see I have 111 views over nine days of live streaming nonstop. I would consider that very, very impressive for someone who had zero subs. I think that is very impressive, very good progress. For shorts, I have this and I have 4.9k views and you can probably see that I have 10 subscribers from that. It's interesting, right? And those 10 subscribers or 11 they came from the cat content which brings me to my next point i'm not going to put out as often pet content because i don't want people to get the wrong idea and think that i am a pet content creator sure i don't mind uploading once in a while a video or a short of my pets but Again, I don't want people to get the wrong idea and expect this kind of content out of me because I'm not a pet content creator. Sure, I have a very cute cat and she's my princess, my little princess. Her name is Lynx, but I just I just don't want to grow my channel on top of pet content. I want to grow my channel that is more VTuber oriented, that is more gaming oriented, that is more software engineering and side projects oriented like in the game development and that's all there is to it i'm just going to make it clear i will upload that content shorts especially but a lot less frequently maybe once or twice a month and that is it overall i racked up 5,000 views or 4.9 thousand views from just shorts 65 hours almost 66 hours watch time total watch time and 13 subscribers i don't know why it says 13 and i have 14 and that is my brief analytics overview of the past nine days so if you do like my channel i really would appreciate if you could like and subscribe and really help put me out there for people for more people to discover if you do like my content why not share it with other people as well who knows maybe other people will like it too and i want to express my gratitude and say thank you so much for any type of engagement that i get from any viewer from any content consumer really thank you i have i'm speechless and I just don't know how to thank you enough. And I hope one day I'll be able to provide the exact same value back where I can guide people, give them advice on how to succeed as a VTuber or overall as just a content creator and just make everyone who interacts with my channel entertained and happy. So, my name is Nyx, also known as the VTuber with a software engineering degree. And I'll see you in my next live stream or shorts. Goodbye.